And I went uh, up to Pahrump and Tonopah and Beatty and Mina, where we had about 12 people show up in Mina. They were so excited that I was there. And uh, we just, uh, you know, old-fashioned retail politics. Nothing like shaking hands and introducing yourself to folks along the way and letting them know that even though I'm from Las Vegas, that if I'm your United States Senator, I'll represent the entire state. The, the Reno and the rurals and every and every other place. And I'm here to let you get to know me a little bit and for you to feel comfortable that, uh, that I mean what I say and that I will represent the entire state. My uh, husband is here taking uh, pictures. He's my biggest fan. My husband, Paul, is right here. And my, our son, Paul, where's Paul? There's Paul the fourth, but we call him Paul Jr.'s here. And uh, we just came back from a big luncheon with um, President Bush, who is in town for uh, the Safari Club, but he's also in town for uh, his library. And so we just came in, that's why we're all dressed up, from a big luncheon with, uh, with President Bush. But I do thank you for being here. I see Senator Raggio just came in, so I want to introduce Senator Raggio. He's here. I want you to know that um, many years ago, the senator and I uh, served together in the Nevada legislature uh, when I was a state senator, and um, just I was just so young, wasn't I, Senator? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and so were you. Still are. Thank you. Yes. And uh, I look at uh, the senator as a mentor and as a friend, and uh, uh, he had encouraged me many years ago in 1992 to run for the state senate when it seemed insurmountable odds I ran against the majority leader of the Nevada Senate who was a Democrat who just uh, passed away two weeks ago Jack Vergeels and um, uh, it was Bill Raggio who said go for it girl <laughs> just go out and do it and I did I ran hard on a three to in a three to one Democrat district I uh, ran on the issues I ran a clean campaign and I won and I came up here and we turned the Nevada Senate back to Republican. And uh, we voted, the Senator Majority Leader standing right there, and, and uh, I was voted in as the um, Majority Whip. Did you vote for me, Senator Raggio? Okay. <laughs> just checking. Just Yes, and you're going to vote for me again? <laughs> Good. But I'd like to give you a little bit more about my background. I am a businesswoman uh, in Las Vegas for a couple of decades now. My husband and I have had quite a number of businesses. And uh, guess what? We make payroll. And we deal, <laughs> imagine that, someone who makes payroll. And we uh, deal with the health care issue. Uh, not just as a family, me as a mom, but we deal with uh, 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 the health care issue with all of our employees. We know how hard it is uh, to uh, supply insurance for our, our uh, employees. We know how expensive it is and how we absolutely need reform. But this Harry Reid bill is not the reform that we want to happen in Washington. I also came to Las Vegas from New Jersey many years ago in 1978. I came as a reporter for our CBS affiliate in Las Vegas, that's Channel 8, and I worked my way up to be an anchor woman and um, married my husband at the time and had my son and uh, uh, decided uh, with my, at my husband's urging to uh, uh, join him in uh, our, the growing company that he was building and so I went into the business world. That was 27 years ago so I think I made the right decision to change careers and to join with my husband uh, in his business. But I, uh, people say to me throughout the state, why are you doing this? Why are you running for the Senate? And I can tell you I'm running because I'm genuinely angry. I'm genuinely angry at what's happening in Washington. And I'm frustrated and afraid of what's going to happen, future generations, my children, my son, and our grandchildren, of what the policies that are going on in Washington. And so if re regular people don't step up, I'm not a professional politician, but I've had some political experience. I know what it's like to run a tough race. I sure had it. And I know what it's like to be targeted by a special interest group like the unions. Uh, you know, just to give you a, a little background on that, uh, one of the toughest votes that Senator Raggio and I uh, had to, uh, to uh, vote on was right to work. This state would not be a right to work state right now if it wasn't for Senator Raggio and my vote uh, back in the 90s. Uh, and uh, I was picketed. 
because of that. Our home was picketed, our place of business was picketed. Imagine being here and having picketers lie down in the lobby so that people couldn't get through. So I've been through tough experiences. I know what it's like to be targeted by special interests and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to have it again. You think that uh, Harry Reid's not going to have special interests involved in his campaign? So I've lived through it and I've gotten through it. I, we know what it's going to be like and I thank my family for uh, buckling up with me and having the courage to face these uh, next 10 months. It's going to be tough. And I'm going to ask all of you here today to join with me. I do not have a machine backing me. I have, hopefully, all of you backing me. And I'm seeing, <laughs> thank you, and I'm seeing more and more people knowing that they are empowered when they see what happened in Massachusetts, when they see what's happened in New Jersey, my home state, when they see what's happened in Virginia, that regular people who never felt that they had power before feel empowered uh, because of what's happening throughout this country. So I'm asking you to please uh, sign up today help me win this campaign, help me with phone calling, with uh, uh, folding uh, letters and mailing them. I'm going to be going door to door. I need your help. Uh, there isn't anything that's too small that you can't do. Holding up a sign, uh, whatever you can do, I would appreciate. And I can't do it without you. And I'm working very hard up here in Reno. If I'm your United States Senator, I'm not going to be just a senator from Southern Nevada. I'm going to be the senator from all of Nevada. So I'm here to learn about what, what uh, matters to you, uh, as I have all through the rurals with the miners and the farmers and the folks out in the real world here in Nevada. People think that, how can you do this? This is a David and Goliath story. And I can tell you, I think I can do it because I'm not in Washington. I'm here on the ground in Nevada talking to the real people here in Nevada and finding out what's on their minds. So I do believe we can do this. Thank you for being here. I'm going to be here for a couple hours uh, with my family. And so if there's questions, I've already started answering some questions. If you have anything to ask me, I'll be here. And, and please don't be afraid to ask. And thank you very much for coming today. Thank you. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thanks. That's not a stretch, though, is it? <laughs>